Hello guys! In this tutorial, we will show you the easiest way to install the GPU water block. Keep in mind that this tutorial doesn't universally apply to all graphic cards and GPU blocks, considering that there's a vast amount of them. Nonetheless, the principles are the same. So remember, always heed the manual. The mighty NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti graphics card will be put to a very good use. So let's get started. You're gonna need EK GPU water block, your graphics card, EK backplate, plenty of Phillips head screwdrivers, and one clown nose. <laughs> you know what? I don't think we'll need it because putting this thing together ain't no funny business, mister. It ain't gonna be a hassle. There's just a lot of steps in the way. So we're gonna need some tunage. DJ, drop that EK beat. First things first, we need to remove the factory provided backplate. So take all the encircled screws out by using Phillips screwdriver. All heat sink assembly screws should be removed, including self-adhesive washers on both sides of the PCB, of course, if present. Now we need to remove all the screws from stock cooler. And keep in mind, there are usually four screws with springs, so bring that Phillips screwdriver once more. There are different types of screws from one graphic card to another, so using an appropriate screwdriver is essential. You may or may not remove the I.O. plate, but if you do so, the block installation will go smoother. Now remove the housing and don't forget to unplug the fan cables. Carefully detach the original stock cooler and double check that you removed all screws. Wipe off the remains and keep the original thermal pads. Who knows, maybe one day you're gonna sell your graphics card, and if you save the pads and the rest, you can easily revert it back to original condition. Use the non-abrasive cloth or paper and combine that with ethyl alcohol. We will also use Q-tips. Carefully clean the GPU and VRM section, which includes coils, MOSFETs, and drivers. Take your time, no need to hurry. Your block comes with thermal pads. Some of them are already pre-cut, others have to be cut to smaller chunks in order to cover all of the VRM section. So get the scissors. Usually the pre-cut thermal pads are 0.5 millimeters thick, so use them to cover the GDDR chips. As for the other thermal pad that's 1 millimeters thick, we will cut it in a way that it covers the MOSFETs and the coils. Place all the thermal pads on a circuit board as shown in a manual, or in this case, RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. Just a heads up, remove the protective foil from both sides of the thermal pads prior to the installation. Apply thermal compound with a quantity of little less than two rice grains. Carefully position the water block with pre-installed standoffs onto the graphics card. During this process, please make sure you align mounting holes on a PCB with holes on a water block. Same applies for other tops as well. Also, pay attention not to use too much force by pressing the block down to the PCB. The block's weight pressure itself is more than enough. Procedure is the same for all EK full cover water blocks. Use the Phillips screwdriver and once again check the manual to see which screws are needed. And always use the plastic washers underneath the screws themselves. Sometimes graphics cards PCB already includes the plastic washers, so no need to use the EK ones. Now we place back the I.O. plate by using the original and appropriate screws and nuts that are included in the original package. And voila, our graphics card is good to go. But I think we both know something is missing. Yep, it's the backplate. Put the backplate in place so you can see which screws you need to unscrew and replace them with the appropriate ones included in the package. Last but not least, the fitting barbs. Adjust them the way depicted in the video. There's no way you can go wrong with this. Or can you? Now keep in mind, if you leave the rest of the holes open, the water will leak out. So use the EK plugs and screw them with the appropriate Allen key for the package. Now you're good to go. 